Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is a quick overview of how to export your handrails from Tecla Structures to be used in the advanced fabricating machinery equipment. There's a couple nuances that we need to account for in the Tecla model to ensure that it loads correctly into their software that drives their bending equipment. So I just wanted to discuss that here briefly in this video. So here you can see I just have a wall rail that I've modeled in, just real basic. Uh, the same things that I'm going to discuss apply to all rails uh, if you want them to be bent. Um, but basically what we need to do is if we zoom in here and take a look, so we have these straight pieces here. Uh, what we need to account for is that between these straight pieces, we need to make sure that it's either mitered or has a separate bend, as you can see here, uh, so that it will come in correctly to their software. If this was modeled in as one continuous polybeam, uh, then what happens is it comes in faceted to their software and they're not able to get the information that they need uh, to program the machine so that it can be bent. So this uh, individual elbow right here will come in faceted on their side, uh, but if we're able to send these as, as straight pieces like this, uh, then they'll be able to ignore this and account for that based upon the geometry there within the model. So we just need a piece that separates the straight pieces. It can't be one continuous bent piece. Um, so up here is just a, a quick example. I could have a bend or I could have these mitered. Uh, either way, that will come in just fine. Um, so whichever your preference is, you can do that. Even though this looks mitered in the model, when it goes into their software, they're able to put in the bend information based upon this geometry, so it still will be bent. Um, or you can just put in an elbow in between those so you can see what that will look like. So if you're modeling that uh, using some of our extensions, here are the settings that you will want to set. Again, this will put in the elbow in between, which is good. This is the continuous polybeam setting that you don't want to use. Uh, that will all show up faceted. I'll show you an example of that later. Uh, you can use mitered, uh, and you can even use this setting here if you want. They just need the, the geometry between these st two straight pieces. Same idea over here. And then if we open up Railings S77, we have the same type of options. So here's the polybeam, continuous polybeam setting you don't want to use. This elbow setting is fine. Uh, this one's fine here. Here's the mitered option. And then you can avoid those last two as that would have a bend uh, in the polybeam there with the straight piece. So if you're modeling it from scratch, again, you would just do the same thing. You wouldn't want all of this modeled in as one continuous polybeam. Just model in your straight pieces, add an elbow between them, or miter them, and then you'll get the correct information in the export. So to do the export, we're going to use the multi-converter extension. This is a download that's available on the Tecla warehouse. You can go ahead and download that. And then what we can do is I'll just change this setting to one file by assembly mark and then I can grab all the handrail in my model that I want to send to the machine. I don't have to grab them individually. If you do have brackets that are attached to that, their software will ignore that so you don't need to worry about that. So I can grab all of these assemblies and then I'll just change the setting here to the step file. If you want, you can include the quantity in the file name. I prefer not to, so I'm just going to leave that off and then I'll just click on convert. And then we have this file that's created here, this HR8. So you could import that back into Tecla to see what it looks like. Or I like using this FreeCAD software where I can come in and view these. I'll just close this down and let's go ahead and take a look at this here. And then as I zoom in, you can see I got these straight pieces that they're coming in really nice. They're not faceted, uh, so that's the situation with the miter. If I come over here to the elbow, you can see how the elbow is faceted. This is what this entire piece would look like if it was modeled in as a singular polybeam. Um, and with this faceted information like that, they're not able to use that. But because we have these straight pieces, it's nice and smooth. They can do the math, uh, detect the bend based upon the die in the machine and be able to go from there uh, and be able to use that. So anyway, once you export those files, send those over, they'll be able to run them through. 